Hello guys, it is week nine. Week nine, wow. What the heck? This is insane. We're gonna do the way in. Lord help us, we don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> So that is a positive for both of us. Luke lost a kilo. I lost one kilo, two. Point two. Point two. Um, which is really good because then that shows us that the refeed was worth it and we weren't just I having a good time. <laughs> um, also, we had a lot going on last week, like you've seen if you've seen the video. So we had my graduation and then we went out for some food um, yesterday. So it's just showing that you can still live your life as long as you're doing it correctly and you're working it all out and your weekly calories are matching up. So we feel really good about that because we were a wee bit worried that maybe it was going to be too yeah. far. <laughs> so on to this week. We do have some outings this week as well, but like last week, we'll just fit them in. <laughs> Let's take on my life. It is Tuesday. Luke had his lesson this morning and I had work. So we just had the bagel with the Scottish sausage. Then Luke made an absolutely lovely lunch of another bagel and um, cooked ham with some tomato. So we're only on like 400-ish calories. I need to put the almond milk in, but that'll only be like 30 odd calories. So we're going out for dinner for my graduation. So we had to kind of keep it a bit lower this morning. But no regrets because it's going to be good. Okay, so it is what day? Tuesday? Wednesday? <laughs> We're on Wednesday and this is the amazing graduation cake that my nana got us. We did have a slice of cake earlier. Technically, it's in yesterday's calories because we tried to attempt to eat it last night, but our dinner was so good last night that we were too full. So we are counting it in our calories, just not today's. But yeah, it was absolutely delicious. It was dairy free, 10 out of 10. But we need to make lunch now. Okay, so we're having tuna pasta for the first time in ages. And I am super excited for it. And um, we've not had tuna in a long time either. So maybe need to get more tuna. It is now Wednesday night. So... I did go to the gym, but I didn't film anything in the gym. I think the issue I'm having is it's not worth going out to eat. Um, so obviously we went out to eat last night for my graduation. Don't get me wrong, absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10, the food was stunning. We didn't get, um, we chose to get a starter rather than a dessert. Um, I don't know if that would have been Luke's choice, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a starter girly. Um, look at look at me either or, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean that night always. Yeah, your vibes. <laughs> no, but it was, it was um, yeah. Like I, I like I like both, and um, I usually don't go for an either or. Um, you know, but yeah, I'm a bit more sweeted. Yeah. Than so we didn't get a dessert, um, and we didn't really get we didn't get a coffee either because it was really late at night. It was like ten o'clock at night. And we got home and we were like, we're going to have a slice of the cake. And it just didn't happen for us. Like, we were stuffed. So I think maybe, I mean, I can't talk for Luke, but for me, I definitely overate. And it definitely was a greed thing. It wasn't... Because, like, I I was really grateful because I, I was lucky that it was being paid for. Um, so I really didn't need to finish my food but it was really good like it was so nice and i just got a big dd and i, I ate every single last i right. was like i was like I, scraping the plate and everything what i would say about myself in that context um i was hungry enough to eat the the two the, the starter and the main and that was fine when we got home and had some cake that was good that was good for me. Yeah. 100%. So obviously we ate the cake this morning, but apart from breakfast, lunch and dinner, which have all been quite low calorie, 
I've not had anything else. Um, I've actually, my tummy's been a wee bit affected today, let's just say. Um, me and Harvey really know <laughs> how we feel. <laughs> um, but um, I think it'll be worth it in the, the long run because tomorrow we've been invited to Cup again to try their new ice cream that they've brought out. And we're super grateful. Like, we love being invited to places. Um, it honestly, it gives us it gives us something to do. Do you know what I mean? It's so nice. So we've got cup tomorrow. So I have got loads of calories left today, but my average over the three days so far is 1,634, which is quite high because obviously it needs to be under 1,600 or just bang on 1,600. Um, but obviously we've still got another four days of the week. Um, but I just want to make sure that it balances out. And obviously I'm lucky that these things are going to be over soon, like Tuesday night and Thursday night. It's got the weekend to fix it. Um, but I was saying to look, I really do miss actually just like having silly snacks at night. So like hitting all my protein during the day for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then my last like few hundred calories, just being able to grab some cereal or grab a wee square of chocolate with my cup of tea. And like, those are such small things, but honestly, they make the cut what it is, rather than just like totally going off on one day and then having to be super strict the rest of the time. Yeah. It's just, it's not necessarily worth it. Um, but like I, I like said- it seems less sustainable. Like, it yeah. doesn't, I feel when you get those like little snacks every day, you boost your kind of motivation. Yeah. Like, this isn't even that bad, this diet. Whereas like, when you're having to be ultra clean, to have like one yeah one day, out. day like it doesn't even then you're having the, the whole out day you're still very conscious of what you're doing anyway so yeah i feel like we can enjoy not only like boost our motivation and our adherence to the diet and uh, with those like regular kind of treats that were factored in um but i think as well like when we did it we felt like oh this is we're being so smart for our diet this feels so good Whereas I feel like when we have these like blowout days, we're like, right, how do we make this work? And then yeah. on the day, I don't feel like we enjoy it the way that we would enjoy yeah. the regular uh, treats. Definitely. Um, but yeah, we'll be fine. I think our energy's been quite low today, which hasn't helped with everything. Um, so we'll hopefully get there. I've been yapping for about five minutes now, so enjoy. <laughs> gym i've just done two sets of laundry so i'm dying it's my cardio that is rubbish um also we've got lovely spots on the face we love to see it um yeah i'm not really feeling it today i'm not not a fan today however the gym has got in heavier dumbbells which is absolutely lovely we love you rich thank you so much um other than that, I've actually just got a busy cooking night tonight because I have my last Ariana tomorrow and I need to pack food for the whole day. We're home from the gym. Um, it was a good session. We just sat in the sun and had a little um, coffee, iced coffee in the new cups. Yeah, I'll need to show you the new cups. Here's a picture. Um, but yeah, they're the cutest. Now I'm editing my run and coma video, which you will have seen last Friday. Um, and yeah, then we're gonna make dinner. We've got the paella pots, which I'm buzzing because I've not had the pa paella one in ages. I kept getting the teriyaki one for my dinner, so it'll be good. Okay, so as you've seen yesterday, I was working, so six hours in the car, six hours on the way back, so I made myself some breakfast just my usual breakfast took it with me then i made myself a turkey trimming and cheese bacon wrap and then for dinner i took tuna pasta and then i took a pack of crisps and one of those wee alpro vegan protein yogurts i don't know how i feel about them yet um 
I'll need it. I'll need to try the strawberry one, and then I'll let you know what my final thoughts are for them. But yeah, there wasn't much to vlog yesterday because it was just sitting in the car, um, and then this morning where it is very sunny today, so we're outside. We have the ice latte in the cutest little cup ever. So glad that I found these. Well, my friend found them for me and I bought them. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of Sunday. We've been looking after my baby cousin all day. Obviously, I'm not going to film him because it's not my baby. It's not my place. So we found out that Sour Patch Kids for seven, which is a serving, um, is only 80 calories. So... This is our new favourite snack of choice. Um, yeah, we got two packets of those. So this is the end. We've not actually ate much today. The average calories for me is like 1,442, which is good considering we really went ham on Tuesday. Next week is going to be great because it's going to just be back to normal. We've not got any outings next week. It is just eating what we can eat. As you've seen, I have lost another 800 kilograms, which is amazing. So the refeed definitely worked. <sighs> you guys, it's just going so fast now. I feel like time is just flying by and um, we've only got like three weeks left. What the heck? So I'm super excited. I'm actually happy with where I am right now, so it can only get better. Um, But yeah, we did get pictures again because I forgot to bring... I forgot to bring this bad boy with me. So, <laughs> maybe we'll get them next week. We will see. So make sure you like this video because it really helps my channel. Make sure you comment down below any words of wisdom, any positivity, just the vibes, okay? And make sure that you subscribe and become part of the Bookish and Lifestyle family. Pop the notification bell on so you don't miss a single video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.